Welcome, fellas and This is Draz. Now we're looking into how to take on this thing, the vulture. All right. You should hopefully have your weapon skills up to the first level at least. You can do that at the beginning of the game. You should upgrade your tools and weapons pretty quickly. You do not want to use a club. It's too slow. I thought at first you might want to use this a lot, but not only is this also a little bit slow, you don't get the benefit of extra feathers like you would on a chicken, so this ends up being your weapon of the choice. Now to dodge them, it's just a matter of running forward, usually towards them, and moving to the side a little bit. So this guy's caught in one of the loops. You can take him out while he's doing the loop. I'm gonna try and break the loop. There we go. What you want to look for is a straight on approach. So it's a matter of patience. Make sure you clear the zombies out of the area first. You're looking for the straight on approach and you want to get your arrow in. I usually only try to get one arrow in for the approach. Um, and watch for the dodge to the side. If he does do the dodge, I usually recommend running forward. So with level 50, oops, missed one. When they're doing a vertical approach from above, it's a lot easier. But he's going to just switch to the side, so. The problem with being zoomed in also with this focus is that it does slow you down, so either let go of the arrow or zoom out. So it usually takes about two to three arrows. Again, the best is the vertical when they're up here coming at you. When they're coming in here straight ahead, it's not as good. Let's see if I can get another vertical. Oh, there we go. Let me get another one in here. Well, actually, no matter how many arrows you use, you're going to end up recouping your arrows pretty quickly. So one vulture drops you 57 arrows or so. So you get, you know, about 40 to 60 arrows. From a one vulture. Again, let's see if I can get another vertical approach so I can show you that. All right, might have two now. We're looking for that shape. Let me get you coming in. So it'll be that arrow of his body coming straight at you. Get his attention. You're not participating well, are you? Again, moving actually messes up their AI a little bit, so. All right, I'm not worried about shooting him. I just want to get you the shape. First one's coming straight at you, straight, pretty obvious. Forward and a dodge takes care of that. When he's coming down you vertically, let's see if we can get one. See the claws at the bottom of the attack. If they're clearing at their head, I've seen they say they seem to miss all the time. So come on, one more time. I'll show you the vertical approach. It's gonna look like that. And you want to aim for his chest a little bit further forward. Alright, well, I'll go kill this guy off in a little bit and uh that's just what I want to show you. You're looking for the vertical approach or the straight on approach. Uh, when they get in the loops like this, if you want to try and pick it off, you can. But I found I used a lot of errors on that because they changed their path a little bit. So, all right, if you guys like that video, remember you're looking for the vertical approach or the straight on approach. And when they're like that, just ignore them. I may make a lot of noise, but they'll stay there and keep going with that for a world. Now, I guess, you, well, I can go move on and come back and do them later on. All right. If you guys like this video and like the idea of waiting for you to get a straight on attack and hitting him, again, two to three shots with a level 50 bow and you're golden. Again, the circle approach, you can run through it. Sometimes it breaks it or just get further away and their AI will change. Or just ignore them. If they're stuck in a circle pattern, they're not going to bother you. They're going to keep circling. Oh. I say that. 
All right, guys, keep an eye out for them. Their habits are pretty easy. They do change direction, but if you play it safe, you can take them out without too much trouble. Uh, try and talk you to it is not another story. All right, thanks for watching. Have fun zombie hunting. See you on the flip side.